So, what we need to learn from this young doll situation, bro, is once you get money, get out the hood. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody say, bro. Once you got money, get a security. Get security. It's not even, it's not even worth it no more to even have that discussion. Like whether it's being tough, bro. If Young Dolph can go in his own home, bro, it's time to get security, bro. You understand? No matter if you're the biggest artist, the smallest artist, bro. If you got money and people see you, you know what I'm saying? And all eyeballs on you, and you know eyeballs are on you, bro. Get you a security. Get you a security, man. Young dog couldn't even go in his own hood. Our brother, black and brown, black just like you and me, can't go to his own hood because he got money. When Young Dolph did everything to put brothers on, if he was loyal, you understand? That's crazy. Our own people, once they become successful, can't go back home. Black people need to learn from this, bro. Protect your brother, man. Protect your brother. Anything that God did for one person, he will do for you. You understand? Yes, that nigga had money. No, you didn't have money. But if you would have stayed 10 toes in what the fuck you was doing, you wouldn't be so envious and jealous trying to get somebody else's money. You understand? People are going to have more money than you always in this life. People will always be more successful than you in this life. But you can gain your own success by staying 10 toes in your own lane, working and stacking up your bread and not spending it. And choosing which endeavors to go into with that money to help quadruple, triple your money. You understand? Like investing, stocks, Bitcoin, etc. Whatever it may be. But when you stay in your own lane and focus on what you got, focus on your gifts. Focus on where God is taking you to success, to him, and, and all the other things. You don't have to worry about what another man is doing. You understand? A young black man can't go back to his own home because he is successful. That is ridiculous, bro. That is, like Boosie said, bro, like what Boosie said needs to stomp in every rapper's head right now, bro. Every artist, everybody that wants to become an artist, you understand? This is what you do. You get you a security, bro. Anytime, anytime, you get you a security. Anywhere you go. Because I know Young Dolph, I don't even know if he had that thing on him, bro. I, I really don't. I don't think he did, to be honest. Cause he in his own town, he like, this is my hometown. You understand? Know like, who hating on me? Who gonna do something to me in my own hometown? So, what does that go to say to black men, bro? To these gang banging black niggas, man. Y'all niggas not shit, bro. That's why you broke, homeless, sleeping on your baby mama crib, you heard me? Never had nothing. And you're going to stay that way because you're too busy looking at somebody else and not staying in your own lane. How the hell are you going to kill another man because he's more successful than you? When all you got to do is stay 10 toes on your own grind and your own hustle and you're going to get some money. That's regardless. No matter what you do. So we as black men and as uh, upcoming artists, bro, because I'm definitely going to be an artist, bro, for sure. It's number one to learn what what young what young Dolph taught us as a person, you know, being independent, doing this independent grind, hustling, and going for it, no matter how long it takes, you know, and working hard for it, you know, and then, like what Boosie said, bro, like a security is essential from now on, bro. A security is essential from now on. It's not something that we we need to think twice about at all, like. Even if I'm at home, like I'm at the crib, like there's security there. Like it's like it's it's about to get real because we gotta understand the world that we living in. As we become more successful, the world is always getting more wicked, right? More and more wicked. And me as an artist, like 
I'm just now starting to care for like artists, you know what I'm saying? So, but like, but being a part of this culture and being black, anytime I hear about another black man getting shot, it's just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But when Pop Smoke died, I cried. When Lil Snoop died, I cried. Not when Pop Smoke died, but when Lil Snoop died, I definitely cried. When Pop, when Pop Smoke died, I was heartbroken, bro. Yeah, shout out to the Wolves. You know what? <laughs> yeah. But from now on, bro, this is how we moving. Straight security. Straight security everywhere we go. Like, none, don't even try to be tough. Don't try to be no tough guy. Ain't no, ain't no, none of that. Because if Young Dolph, a young man with all those guns, with all those people on his back, if he can't even go in his home hood, like, Boosie can't even go in his own hood. Like, I don't know too many people that can go in their own hood. I think like 50 Cent, Fabi, K Flop. Like, even, even those type of people, like, nobody can really go back to their own hood. And it's because there's always that one person that is envious and jealous and who is willing to kill you because of what you got. So it's just like. And it's not having homeboys around you. Homeboys is not security. Nipsey Hussle taught us that, you know? When he got shot, all his homeboys left. None of them were security. That's the only reason why I won't get down, you know what I'm saying? Get down. Because I know, bro, like, when them shots really pop off, is you gonna shoot, bro? Or you gonna run? You know what I'm saying? So we gotta learn from this, bro. We gotta learn. We gotta learn to love each other. We gotta learn to, to focus on ourselves. We gotta learn to be content with what we got. Because I promise you, the nigga who shot Dolph, if he would've stayed on his grind, if he would've stayed 10 toes on what the fuck he was doing, that shit wouldn't happen, bro. And that's the only reason, like, Soon as he got shot, I already knew it. Bro, you get shot in your own hometown. You showed up with a McLaren or some type of sports car, bro, all camouflaged out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's your head, bro. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. We need to learn from this, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck with it. Nobody say, like, oh, you weak because you got security or, like... Yeah, right, nigga. <laughs> so we niggas getting popped, like real niggas, bro. Like, Pop Smoke is 6'2, like, and like, come on now, like, shot, no security. You know what I'm saying? Young dog, tall as a motherfucker, much respect in the streets, still shot. You know what I'm saying? And, and the list goes on, bro. Like, the list goes on, man. Like, Mo3, no security. Let's just run down the line of just this fucking year, bro. Who else, man? Come on, bro. And all you're looking at is no security. All you need is one, one man whose head is always on the swivel. And but I mean a swivel, just like that. Always alert, always on point, always on guard. Not a homeboy, not a fucking homeboy. You understand? Unless your homeboy's a real soldier like me. You understand? I'm not a soldier for the streets, but I'm a real fucking soldier. You understand? For my fucking brother. If anything happened to my brother, I'm there, bro. That's on me. You understand? I don't give a fuck about no banging shit. When my brother called me up and told me, yo, wrong or right, bro, it's up. We sliding. But if we look back in all these situations, it's no security. No security. No security. But we got to learn from this as black men, bro. As a black culture, bro, we gotta learn from this shit, bro. We gotta learn from this shit, bro. We got to love your brother, love your sister, my nigga. And if you don't know how to love, my nigga, then go to Jesus. He'll teach you how to love. No, 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 no gangster shit, no nothing. Just, hey, open up your mouth and pray. Jesus, help me. God, help me. My heart is full of callous. My heart is full of malice and hurt and hatred and anger. Help me out. Before I hurt somebody, before I kill somebody, you know what I'm saying? Help me to get my own. God gonna lead you down to a path, bro. God gonna always show you a path, man. Ain't no reason for you to ever be jealous of somebody, to hate somebody because of what you don't have, bro. Listen, homie, I've had homies, bro. And the same thing could happen to, uh, to them to happen to Young Dolph, bro. 
on God, but it can never happen to them because I'm sturdy in my shit, you feel me? So my homeboys, homeboys, right? So these fake ass niggas, bro, put out, and these niggas supposed to been put me on, gang. Like, I'm talking about been put me on, like. So these niggas pull out like 30, 30 grand straight, straight cash. And that, that, that's slight work, bro. But like, still, like, I ain't seen no damn 30 bands in my face like that. Like, it's really like close to like, nah, it's probably like 27. Like, yeah, like 30 bands. But anyway, it was three, four stacks, bro. And they got the gun on them. And I'm probably serving, so. One split second, I thought, shoot that nigga, bro, and take that shit. Boom. Nah, let me stay sturdy in my own shit. Let me stay sturdy in my own shit, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, like I said, like, homeboys, you know what I'm saying? These niggas I was supposed to. So just imagine, like, you out here starving, nigga. You tell a nigga, like, give me a plate, cuz. Give me a plate. They over there eating steak and shrimp and shit, nigga. After a while, I don't want to I wanna ask you, nigga. I want to take that shit. You really understand? But I didn't, though. And I, I, I never, I never, I never looked at another man's plate after that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, yo, these niggas not going to put me on, right? Okay. But he got it though. And I watched him work for that shit. So you know what that told me? Nigga, post back. Stack your bread up and put your cell phone, nigga. You understand? And that's the same thing that we gotta do, bro. Especially like when we when we hungry. You understand? Like we hungry out here. We hungry. We want it. We want it. But the want and the want and the want, wanting something so much will cause us to do something that we're not supposed to do in instead of working for something. When you work and you are content with what you have instead of wanting and wanting and wanting and wanting, because all you want is money to spend something on something so you can be broke again, then you're going to need more money. It's not like you're going to rob a nigga and invest something. It's not like you're gonna get fifty thousand dollars, and the first thing you say is, "Oh, let me get a rental property so this shit can make me passive income every month." You understand? So y'all gotta understand that, bro. Like, you gonna get it. You gonna get the money, and you may not make, you may not ever make it as successful as Young Dolph. You may not never make it as successful as these rappers. But I promise you, bro, I don't give a fuck what you bang, blood, crip, Hoover, whatever. I don't give a fuck where you are, East Coast, West Coast. North, south, if you stay 10 toes to yourself, if you get a job, don't spend no money on fast food, don't spend no money on no new clothes, go to Ross, you don't even got to go to Ross, if you got clothes, you are good, so for the next five months, don't spend money on nothing, bro, and like, me, I got to spend at least like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's like 65 a week on Bud. But that's me. Like, we all got things that we got to budget out. But the things that we don't need, bro, like, we cut that fast food, the clothes, the jewelry. Bro, and, and watch how much money you save at the end of that month. Now, what you do with that money, you find out, how do I invest this money? How do I make this money quadruple for me? Like, and even if you got $2,000, $1,000, there are things you can do to be content with what you have. There's ways to make that $1,000 to $5,000, you understand, legally. There's ways to make a little bit of money into a lot of money. To where you don't have to look at somebody else's success and say, man, I want his shit. Or to be so damn envious and y'all don't know the damn hard work that that young man put into his life, bro. He worked hard, bro. Young Dolph worked hard, bro. Nigga, you think, you think I'm Young Dolph, bro? And you think I, I don't work this hard? Man, shit. I'll be damned if I let a nigga take my life, bro. Hell no, I didn't. I'll, I'll, make, I'll, I'll make it damn near impossible. I'll make it damn near impossible. I'm not talking about no damn rap songs. Because what, what, who the fuck said? Um, somebody had a famous quote, bro. I'm talking about I'll ride around with the, with the Maybach tenant or something. And ended up getting shot to death. 
I don't know who that was, bro, but it's just like, no, we really got to start moving like that, bro. Like, Windows, tenant, fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, fuck that cracker, fuck him too. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, fuck these people, bro. Like, get your money, stay to yourself, you understand? And I, I would never want to say, you know, fuck this person or fuck that person because God wants us to love and put, and put you know, love in our hearts. When we see people, you know, we always got that mercy in us and, and, and God's eyes and, you know, God's view and not our own. But, like, as a black man and been in this and being a part of this culture, bro, like, it's hurting us, bro. Like, it's hurting us, but we got to move different. We got to talk to the people. We got to do something, bro, because... Every time another successful man, another successful rapper goes home, he gets shot, bro. And it's just like, nigga, 10 times out of 10, the nigga that shoot him is another black man, bro. So if another black man, bro, grinded from the same place you from, bro, and made it, what the fuck does that tell you, bro? That you can make it no matter your circumstances. You can make it no matter where you are, bro. Just stay 10 toes to yourself. Stay grounded. Stay with the faith. Like, nigga, I'm going to make it. Nigga, I'm go it's going to be all right. Like, y'all be doing too much, man. Worrying about what another man has instead of focusing on what you can do. Because I promise you, the man that shot Young Dolph has talents that God has given him. And if he would have stayed 10 toes and focused on his talents, it would open up a door for him to not look to the right or to the left, but to focus on what he has. So he can prosper in his life. We got to prosper in his life, man. We got to do something more. You understand? To shoot and kill each other. Y'all don't understand what's coming, bro. Y'all really don't. And it's going to be a whole lot worse. So if we don't have each other, our bro, if we don't have each other as a people, bro. And this, now, now this, this next sentence is not, this is not for black people or rappers. This is for everybody. Love your neighbor as yourself. Because what's coming, it doesn't matter if you're black or you're white or if you're, if you're blue. If you, like, let's say my neighbors, right? Let's say I'm against my neighbors and there's fucking parachutes coming down. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? An invasion coming down, right? And I'm at odds with my neighbors. I don't help them. I don't yell at them. I don't, you understand? Let's say there's a food shortage. We are, we are, we are odds with our neighbors. Who's going to feed you? Who's going to help you? You understand? Like, things are coming. Like, you don't understand, bro. This is not the time for us to be at each other's throat. This is not for the time for us to be envious and jealous, full of hatred and rage because we want so much. When you are full of want, I want this, I want that, I want this. But you have no work ethic. You're not out there getting a bag. You're not out there chasing your dreams. You're not doing nothing for you to receive that bag. But you want to kill somebody to take theirs. You stay 10 toes in your bag. Stay 10 toes in what you doing. You're going to get a bag, bro. That's a promise. That's a promise. Niggas left me, bro. They don't know I got a bag, cuz. They don't know I got a bag, you heard? Off working hard, bro. Off DoorDash. How the fuck you get a bag off DoorDash? Man? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How the hell you get a bag off DoorDash, man? Come on, man. I'm content, bro. And all the niggas that left me, those niggas that got 30 bands, they still racking it up. They still doing their thing. But what God got me at? Right here in my own thing. And and a couple, of, man, it's about to go up, bro. Music, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Being part of bike life. Like, it's about to go up, bro. Like, niggas should have stayed sturdy. But they didn't stay sturdy. They didn't stay 10 toes. They didn't, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing, bro. Make sure you're loyal to your people, man. Don't don't hate on your brother because he got thousands. Because he got hundreds. Stay 10 toes, nigga. Stay 10 toes. Worry about what you got because I promise you, bro. If you, if you stack your bread up, don't spend nothing. Don't spend nothing. And focus on what you want to do. It's over for the world, bro. This is for every black man and woman. And I want y'all to hear that, bro. Focus on what y'all want to do. Focus on what God has given you so you can go out there impact the world and focus on your bag. You understand? Like, there's too much going on out here for us to be doing this, man. Like, brothers, we need you. 
We need you to stop being envious. You know what I'm saying? And jealous. Sisters, we need y'all to love. You understand? Even if nobody taught you to love, we need you to love. You know what I'm saying? Protect each other. Go out here as kings and queens, conquer the world, come back as a village in peace, bro. In the village, there's not always peace, but there's always love at the end of the damn day. When we lay our heads down that day, we at peace. When we wake back up that morning, we good. What's up? It's a brand new day. So we may fight, we may squabble, but we may get into it. But at the end of the day, let us be at peace and at love. Let's always resolute to this before we resolute to that. You understand? We got to learn from this situation, guys. We got to learn. That's just straight up. I don't give a fuck where you from. If you in the streets, if you in the house, if you playing the game. We as artists, we as a community need to understand this shit, bro. Get you a security. And to the opposition shot, nigga, stay ten toes on what the fuck you got going on. So you don't got to worry about what the fuck somebody else got going on. You understand? That's real, bro. It's your boy Twan. We out.